This video will demonstrate some of the uses and features of the Halo Timer app I created for the Halo 1's re-release with the Master Chief Collection coming out in November. In Halo 1, all the weapons spawn at specific times on each map. On Battle Creek, for example, rockets are up every 2 minutes, sniper every 30 seconds, and the two power-ups are up every minute. But that's not the same for all maps. Blood Gulch, for example, has rockets up every minute and a half, sniper every 2 minutes, and the middle power-up ro rotates every 3 minutes. The goal of this app is to keep track of all these unique weapon times on each map and game type, and to give the user visual and audio cues that are not available in-game, because in Halo 1 there is no on-screen indication as to when weapons are going to be spawning. I've added in the Halo PC maps, and you can see some of the weapon times here. But basically, once, once matchmaking rolls around, the goal is to be able to use this app to have an advantage over anyone else who does not know when the weapons are going to be spawning. So let's just load up a simple example here again. We're uh, back on Battle Creek. We can see all the weapons and the weapon times here. And uh, here's the actual timer page. This is uh, all the information that's available to you while the app is running. We can see the uh, weapons that are going to be spawning or have spawned over here. We can see the next weapon spawn. Like This is the time until the next group of weapons spawns. We have the total time elapsed. This just is the basic how long you've been playing the map, but it's also useful for King of the Hill and other game types like that. Uh, and then you have the 30-second uh, countdown bar. This is just a bar that will slowly fill green to show how long until the um, weapons are spawning. It's really good for when you just need a visual cue about what's going to happen. So when I hit start here, we're going to check out what will happen. Uh, the sniper should be lit up because that's the first weapon that's going to be spawned. And there you go. And so you can look at a glance when you're watching and you can just see, oh, okay, one thing's up, it's the sniper rifle. And then you'll get video uh, audio cues. Sniper, 20. And those will happen every 5 seconds. That's all modifiable. 15. Uh, you can change that in the options. I'll go over that a bit later. But you can see... 10. I slowly make the bar turn red so you get a quick glance. You can see what how close things are to spawning. 5. And that flash means the weapon is spawned. The box turns green to show you that the weapon is up. So you can look afterwards and see, oh, something just spawned. Sniper, invis, over a shield, 20. So now we have these three weapons that are going to be spawning. 15. 10. 5. Alright, everything's up. All this is green, so you better go grab it before someone else does. So... One of the cool things about this app is you can customize which weapons to track on a per map basis. If you don't care about the sniper rifle on a map like Battle Creek, you can turn that off. And then when you go to the timer page, you'll see that the sniper rifle is no longer the first thing to be lit up for the spawning. It's the power-ups, and the weapon spawn time countdown is updated to reflect that. So you'll only receive notifications every minute because that's when the power-ups are up, and then the rockets will be up every two minutes. Uh, it's kind of silly to have both of those power-ups uh, there if uh, they're both, both going to spawn at the same time. So you can turn off one of them, and then you'll see that you'll just receive notifications for the overshield and the rocket launcher. This uh, helps eliminate a lot of audio clutter of the announcer counting down a lot of items, and also makes it easier to see at a glance whether or not the uh, power-ups are up, which would mean the right side's lit up, or the rocket is up, which would mean everything's lit up because they both will spawn at the same time. So... Uh, I personally like to uh, keep track of both items, just that's a personal preference. But what's really cool about this app is that uh, it'll store these game, these settings across multiple uh, games and maps. So if I go back into Battle Creek, I can see that the uh, sniper rifle is already deselected, but that doesn't affect any other maps. So if I were to go into Blood Gulch, you can see that the sniper rifle is still going to be trapped, which is obviously important on a map like Blood Gulch. So what's really cool about this is you can keep track of uh, which settings you have and presets you like across multiple maps and game types, which is re really useful for when matchmaking comes out, so you don't have to load up a map and keep turning on and off things over, over and over again every single time a new map is selected. The game type you're playing can also have a dramatic effect on spawn times and locations. Uh, on Derelict Slayer, for example, the rockets are up every 30 seconds and the two power-ups are up every minute, but if you change the game type to capture the flag, uh, Derelict has rocket at two minutes, and there's only the invis uh, power up on the map. Similarly, with uh, Wizard, if you change the game type back to Slayer, you can see the standard two power ups every minute. But if you change the game type back to CTF, uh, there's actually two rockets on the map in the middle every two minutes, and the four power ups become two, and they rotate every three minutes. 
King of the Hill can affect the maps as well. Uh, Battle Creek, for example, they remove the sniper rifle. In Derelict, they remove the invisibility. But the main purpose of having this in the app is because there needs to be a way to keep track of the hill movement outside the game, since there is no in-game indication as to when the hill is going to move. So uh, since the hill moves every minute on a map like Chiron, since weapons don't spawn on the minute interval, that's also useful as well. What happens basically is the announcer will say hill moving at a time interval that you specify in the options. So let's go check out those right now. So here's all the options currently available. I plan on adding more if matchmaking requires, but uh, for now there's quite a bit of customizability. You can change when the audio cues happen and uh, what type of audio cues. So if you want to hear a voice, a beep, or nothing at all. Uh, you can change uh, when the announcer will start listing the weapons. So at 10 seconds left, he'll start saying rockets, sniper, etc. This is uh, the amount of time that the green box shows around previously spawned weapons. So if you're in the middle of a firefight, you can still look at the screen afterwards and for up to 10 seconds and see which weapons have recently spawned. And since there's no on-screen indication when the hill's going to move on Halo 1, uh, this option lets you have, like, for example, 15 second warning and the announcer will say hill moving on the app. So. Uh, for the Halo PC options, these are options I'm assuming we'll need in matchmaking. Uh, whether or not there will be like a classic map playlist, because this turns on or off the Halo PC maps from the list, which just makes selecting the map easier. And uh, whether or not to show the Halo PC uh, changes to the original maps, like they added the fuel rod and a few maps. So those are all the options that are available now, but uh, more should be coming if uh, it's necessary. So. So if you still don't know how this app's going to be used, I've added a few examples here at the end, uh, just showcasing what's possible when you know which weapons are spawning and when, and uh, how you can share power-ups with teammates or pre-nade weapons to yourself and all sorts of uh, interesting things like that. So hopefully you guys download the app and uh, use it to find your own cool tricks, and uh, when matchmaking rolls around, we can have a lot of fun. So thanks for watching. Invis over a shield. Five, three, two, one, spawn. Over a shield. Three, two, one. Rockets, sniper, five. Spawn. Rockets, invis, over a shield, five. Rockets, sniper, invis, over a shield. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Five. Three. Two. One. Rockets, sniper, invis, twenty, fifteen, ten. Five. Rockets, sniper, invis, over a shield. Ten. Five. Ten. 
five. 